So, you align the rigs, but they're not connected. Not a problem. Now, if you don't want to do any of the work you're about to see, feel free to download the completed version of this rig in the description. Otherwise, if you want to take a stab at it, here's how all this works. The basic idea is real simple. Get the connect rig to move the hands, feet, chest, and hips of your rig. When the connect foot moves, your foot should be pulled with it. Easy enough, right? Nothing crazy. Now, normally this would be a real straightforward process, but because connect's elbow and knee data is not reliable, we kind of have to make up our own system to dictate their behavior instead. To do this, press Shift-C to move the cursor to the middle of the world. Click your rig, go to edit mode, and duplicate any bone you want. Make sure that it's pointed up and has a bone roll of zero. Make sure that it has no parent, and with the snap tool set to vertex, snap it to the right elbow. Shift-D to duplicate, and snap that to the left elbow. Shift-D again, and snap to the right knee. Shift-D again, and snap to the left knee. And Shift-D one more time, right click, snap, selection the cursor, and you should see the final bone at the bottom in the middle. Awesome, now don't forget to name them. I recommend elbowposition.l, elbowposition.r, kneeposition.l, kneeposition.r, and connect feet planter. From here, if you go to pose mode, select the five bones that you just created. And under constraints, add copy location and copy rotation. Then go to pose, constraints, and copy constraints to all selected. This will copy these constraints to all the bones that you've selected at the same time. Once the constraints have been added, make sure that they're each targeting the respective connect counterpart. So the right elbow position should be targeting the connect right elbow. The left elbow position should be targeting the left connect elbow. The right knee position should target the connect right knee, and the left knee position should target the left connect knee. Under copy rotation, make sure that they're all copying the feet planter bone in the middle. For the actual planter bone though, make sure that it's copying the X and Y location and Z rotation of the spine base. Okay, once you've done all that, from here on out, like most tissues in the world, it's really just a parenting problem. Select the bone that controls your rib cage. And the bone that controls the neck. Under constraints, add copy rotation, set target to connect skeleton, and set target and owner space to local. Then go to pose, constraints, and copy to selected to apply these constraints to both the rib cage and the neck. Make sure that your rib cage bone is copying the connect spine and that your neck bone is copying the connect's neck. You might have to invert the Z axis as well, so check that out if it looks weird. Next, let's attach all of our parenting constraints. Click both hands, both the original elbow and knee IK pole targets, and the base spine bone. Under constraints, pick armature, add target bone, go to pose, constraints, and copy to selected to apply everything simultaneously. Once you've done that, make sure that the hip's target is the connect skeleton, and the sub-target should be the hip rotator bone. The right hand IK bone should be targeting the connect's right hand. The left hand IK bone should be targeting the connect's left hand. The left elbow pole targets should be following the left elbow position, and the right elbow pole target should be following the right elbow position. The left knee pole target should be following following the left knee position, and the right knee pull target should be following the right knee position. Once you've done all that, the last thing is to check the feet. As I said in the previous videos, make sure that they have limit location so they can't go below the floor, and make sure they both have child of constraints set to the inverse of their respective feet. You're done. If you did everything right, you should see your skeleton shadow in the connect rig. Again, if you'd rather not deal with any of this, you can always just download the completed rig from the description. It's totally free, and you can just wait paint your own character to the rig directly. So don't freak out if you got lost somewhere. Also, one more thing that I'd like to point out is that normally connecting two rigs together is not this difficult. The only reason that we had to do so much extra work is because the raw elbow and knee data from connect is not clean enough to use directly. Also, Microsoft never developed a direct way to get the data from Connect to a 3D software, in contrast to Connect. In the near future, I'll be showing you how much easier it is to do this exact same process, but with motion capture data that is actually designed to be streamlined and reliably easy to transfer into Blender. But in the meanwhile, hope that helps. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.